Police department is upgrading equipment to better protect its officers. 41 NBC Skyler Henry has more on how much money this added safety will cost taxpayers. It's a lot harder, it's a lot sturdier, and it's a lot heavier. Moving around with heavy gear isn't new to Captain James Buck. The longtime Perry police officer carries more than 10 pounds of equipment, including a bulletproof vest on him day in and day out. That affords them protection pretty much from any type of handgun, but it does not afford them any protection against uh, rifle rounds. We have had 11 police officers hit by gunfire. Sadly, four of them have died of their wounds. With the events of Dallas, Baton Rouge, Orlando, um, it has become now a more critical need to get this type of protection out to our officers. Perry City Council approved buying $14,000 worth of heavy-duty vests for all 40 of the city's officers. And the cummerbund helps to give the, the uh, wearer a little bit of, of comfort around the sides. Buck says officers won't have to wear the vests all the time, but when intense situations flare up, the vests will be available. The uh, plates themselves fit into the Velcro portion. It's another measure in an attempt at keeping police safe. This particular um, style body armor is made out of a ceramic plate and other material um, that can resist the rifle rounds. And in addition, that increased officers' chances of going home to their families. I'd rather carry the extra gear than be carried. In Perry, Skyler Henry, 41 NBC News. The department has started ordering the new equipment, but there has been a wait list to get gear because of the recent police shootings.